So this movement started in February as a coalition of different student societies. It mostly was uh, beginning with the Kent Marxist Society and the Students Against Austerity. Uh, we were inspired by Inquirer articles that talked about the increases of rent, uh, how high rent here was compared to other universities outside of London, also some of the spending that was seemed kind of reckless by Dame Julia Goodfellow, who was the vice chancellor. So we decided we cared about these issues. We wanted to do something about it. So we started this group, and uh, we have a, we've had a meeting where we've made our demands. We have six bullet point demands that we would like. Um, we've been leafleting on campus uh, weekly, trying to raise awareness. Uh, we have plans for the future. We're trying to bring in speakers from UCL to talk about what they've done, how that, what worked and what didn't work, and try to get ideas from that. Uh, plans for more direct action, plans for how we could possibly partner with the student union who's doing things but doesn't have the broad support of the student body. Um, and that's pretty much where we're at right now. We're trying to form, uh, you know, push our way forward and figure out how we're trying to present ourselves. And that's all. As a group, we've come up with a list of demands for the university. Firstly, we want on-campus accommodation prices to be cut in line with the national average. The current national average for on-campus accommodation across the UK is £5,200, whereas at Kent it's £5,500. Rutherford College, one of the accommodations on campus, is £4,500 to live in for the year, but next year that price will be going up £800. If these price increases go ahead, we will be the second most expensive campus to study at outside of London. We want more transparency on how our money is being spent and for the university's construction efforts to actually be focused on renovating the lower budget accommodations on campus, such as Darwin, Elliot and Parkwood. Finally, we want to make sure that on-campus accommodation prices will be covered by the maintenance loan, so that students will have more money to live better. This is one step in a wider campaign for free and accessible housing and education for everyone. This isn't a question of one university, or even a question of all universities. It's a question of an economic system that bails out the rich and forces everyone to pay for its prices. Dismantle the institution of the university and make the university responsible for the people it was meant to serve, the students.